working in an emergency department, I think that you become very close to people in a very short amount of time. They tell you things about themselves that would take other people in a relationship 20 years to tell you about and here they are, they're spilling their life story to you in, in five minutes and sometimes we have to stop and think about what, what it is that we're doing and that we are dealing with people and their lives and their families and you know and their friends and and even sort of with your colleagues they're the same as well as, your, as the patients they've got families and friends and relatives and so what you do with them on a day-to-day -day basis within the workforce they they can take it that home with them as well so you have to you know it's a very close relationship that healthcare workers have and it doesn't matter whether you're the PSA or, or the cleaner on the ward. For all the angst and, you know, the day-to-day -day grind of it, 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 it really is a very, it's, it's rewarding at the end, at the end of the day to be able to say, well, you know, I've done a good job and I've cared for somebody and made a difference to them. Um, you know, we often used to joke in the emergency department there must have been a better way to make money in that we would like to go um, either go and work in a flower shop and it wouldn't matter if we didn't sell any flowers, it would be, just be nice to be surrounded by nice smelly things or and work in a, in a um, fashion shop and say, yes dear, that piece of jewellery will go very nice with that. But when you really stop and think about it, it's probably not very satisfying and, and um, see, so you know, it does keep you coming back to be able to care for people and give a little bit of yourself. If you've got a good camaraderie with the people that you that you're working with, and you're able to have a um, work well together, and but also be able to have a laugh with each other and um, know when to take the piss out of each other or or not, you know that you know working out times and and different personalities. Not everyone's bright bubbly and, you know, happy and, or they don't seem to be. Or, so you've got to learn how to deal with people and you, and you, and you do and you, and you develop friendships with people that you probably, when you stop and if you really stopped and analysed it, you might not in another situation have had very much to do with them at all, but you, you find ways of finding the best out of people because you have to. Because if you didn't, it would be an impossible situation to work in because it can be pretty tough anyway. Sometimes you can be sort of a bit hard on the outside, but on the inside it's all, it's all sort of happening. So you need somewhere along the line to um, let that out because I, I do think that if you don't let it out, it, it, it finds other ways of manifesting itself. And if people do take it so seriously all the time, they don't, they don't survive. And, um, they have to go away and do something else, or you know, they they just get really bad at that, get really bad at their job, and they um, they lose that ability to care care for the people that they that they're working with, or the, or their patients, and you can and you can see that happening, and they they don't they don't last, and they go they move away from it, and also having worked in the emergency department for a long time, you're able to um, be a person that people people can bounce things off because they can, well you do understand and you do know what it's like and um, or, you, or you can pick up when people are maybe are str struggling a little bit and be able to sort of say well how are you going and find ways about sort of drawing them out and making sure that they're okay and I think we have to do that like in a management position we have to take care of people because they might not show up tomorrow night from a from a mercenary sort of point of view as well, they might not come to work tomorrow night because they haven't been dealt with properly or been given the proper chance to debrief or find out what went wrong or what went right. 